everybody, I'm Danny Laux and I'm here today to share some things with you regarding the core. This is the area that I know all of us want to work, including myself. And I taught yoga this morning and I came up with a couple of different moves to add into the traditional plank and side plank poses or exercises. And I wanted to share those with you today. So first of all, what we want to do is you can be in a downward dog pose or all fours and come into this. What we do is we take our hands directly underneath your shoulders, keeping your shoulders back so you have good posture alignment and your knees are hip width apart, pulling your belly button up and in towards your spine so you have a nice hold through your core. But I tell people it's like you're holding a cup of water on your lower back and this is going to feel nice and strong and you're holding the glutes together. When we're in this position, shoulders are back and head is in line, we're going to step back with our feet into a plank. And you're, again, you're going to feel hands under the shoulders, feet are nice and strong, shoulders are back, head is in line like a ruler from your head to your tailbone. Now if I go into a side plank and I modify, we're actually going to do that for this movement, I come on one knee and I come on my elbow underneath my shoulder. So that way when I rotate to the side, my shoulder is back, my waist and my core are nice and strong and lifted, the knees on the floor and the foot is nice and flat. I raise my arm up towards the ceiling, shoulder is back, and I'm feeling my core holding me nice and strong here. Now what I've added to this is some rotation. So what you're gonna do, open the chest, so that way you look up to the ceiling with the chest towards the ceiling and that shoulder goes back, feeling the core holding you in when you rotate. Now to rotate down, I'm going to take my chest towards the floor, lifting the foot up. And as I'm here, now I'm hovering as if I'm flying. Shoulders are back, breathing, and feeling that core right here stabilized. Inhale. Opening again, chest up to the ceiling, feeling my hip core, and rotating again. Here's the hard part, stabilizing, holding that body in position, rotating back up, and slowly lowering the hip down. What we would do then is go back to the center position and rotate so we can do it on the other side. And I'm telling you, it is an amazing feeling that you get. We tried that today in class, and everybody felt it and was asking me questions about it afterwards. So I wanted to post it for you today so you can give it a try and let me know what you think as well. Thanks so much, and please let me know any questions you have. I look forward to hearing from you, and of course, I will always answer you back. Thanks. Have a great day. Thank mm -hmm. you.